Hi guys and welcome to Gerji Gaming. So in this video I want to compare two games. One is Shivery Medieval Warfare and the other is Vikings. So Vikings and Shivery are the same type of games. They are multiplayer, swords and shield, you know, type of games. One of course is about Vikings and the other one is, you know, about the medieval times and it has um, four classes. I've been playing both games. Vikings I have from like maybe you can say half a year. I don't know. Uh, but basically I want to compare the two games so you can see which game is going to be the best for you if you're looking for such kind of a game. Because you know we are now expecting uh, from Ubisoft for Honor. And for Honor looks very different, but in the same time it's the same type of game, only, you know, triple A and not like an indie game. And those two games are like indie games. So basically I'm going to show you the gameplay from the two games, uh, so you can see the differences and I'm going to explain as much as I can what the differences are. So in Vikings you have uh, the system of, you know, sure, um, the system of sword, shield, blocking uh, but you know what what sucks about all those games that uh, you're going to the tutorial you learn the basics but then it's all downhill from there and because it's just not um, you know realistic in a real fight uh, what you learn in the tutorial yes you're going to learn how to block and all of this but Whatever you do when it's a real fight and not somebody that's just standing still like is in, in the tutorial of Vikings, you're just going to get hit. Um, when you have a shield actually you can, you know, block but if they're smaller than one opponent it's kind of really hard to do. And of course, it, yeah, it's very hard guys. I mean, you have to either attack and decide to do this or either you know block and just wait to be killed you can attack and block of course but it's just not that, ty that type of a game I mean, um, the rest of the players are going to swarm you and it's going to be over very fast so this type of games usually take a lot to master uh, and it's just not fun you know for me that's not how I see fun uh, to be so frustrating all the time and maybe that's one of the reasons that Vikings is one of those games that are not played so much as Chivalry is. Both games have their you know, minuses uh, and pluses. Um, Vikings has a lot more minuses because it's just even worse, I mean, than Chivalry. Sometimes you just die, like, one of, all of a sudden. Not that you don't die like that in Chivalry, but uh, I don't know, you just have to play it to feel it, but it's it's very sudden, it's, uh, you kinda, um, you know, you kinda feel like somebody is uh, having a rope around you and you're just, you're just tied to something. That's how I feel playing Vikings, like you're tied and you don't really, you know, you can't really strike that fast, you have to like load your strike, so it's that type of a thing. So it's not like uh, hack and slash, hack and slash, in some instances is if you pick like another weapon. So it's basically, you know, the both games are very, very similar and both games you can, you know, go forward uh, like, you know, duck and I'm not sure about crouching in Vikings, but you can certainly crouch and chivalry and about the... Um, you know, the whole development of the game, how both games are made. You know, the, the game that is not better made is Chivalry in terms of uh, graphics and maybe gameplay overall. But but in Vikings, you can actually heal yourself. Uh, that's the only benefit, really. Uh, the optimization and, you know, in terms of gameplay is yeah, pretty good. Uh, the way that you can customize your character, you have to earn points or pay or something like that. That is, I think, a very new actually feature and didn't see it before at least, you know. I'm talking about Vikings still. And Chivalry is... Uh, what to tell you about Chivalry? Yeah, it has 
I guess they're more intuitive, film mechanics, uh, blocking and everything. But even if you're trying really, really hard, you know, in a real battle again, uh, you will block a couple of times, but uh, what's the you guys? You have to take a class and master it. You have to figure out, you know, how to use your character the best. Uh, if you can, you know, master the blocking very, very well, maybe you, you will be able to... Uh, you know, beat your opponents, the other classes. Um, for instance, if you pick uh, the lightest class, which is like not Vanguard, but the other one, you know, the the most light class um, after the Archer, uh, you'll be very fast. Uh, but you can also die very easily, so you have to learn how to block because two, you know, hits and you're down. Basically, two or three hits, uh, depending on the hits, of course, depending on which weapon and all of that. So, uh, basically, what I'm saying is, it's one of those games, multiplayer games, that you're going to be frustrated out of your mind. Uh, you're going to have fun, but you're also going to be very, very frustrated. And uh, although I was good before, somehow, and I was winning, and I was, you know, on top of the charts, basically. Now I suck so hard. I mean, I suck really bad, guys. <laughs> now it's really bad. So um, it's one of those things that you have to just go and learn it, uh, practice it. When you don't play it for a long time, you can, you know, lose your touch, like I did. Uh, because we are playing a lot of games. At least I am. So I'm not going to depend, uh, you know, my gaming life on one game or care so much about it. But just saying that until, you know, For Honor comes out, and I'm really not sure how that's going to be. Uh, those two games are the only option, you know, with the better graphics, with the better uh, mechanics, as far as that's possible for an indie game. Uh, and yeah, especially about Chivalry, there is a lot you can like there, at the same time, no. I really wish that all the, you know, the, the hits that it will take to destroy an opponent to be a lot to be a lot more uh, not you know to have your blood taken from one hit or two hits just you know to have more possibilities to last more in the battle here if you want to really really last you just can't and you don't really have the option to do that and it's very rare and it's luck and and it's skill I really prefer that you don't die as easily. That That's really annoying. You're just beginning, you know, to find your footing in the game and you're dead. Um, and that's, you know, goes for a lot of multiplayer, so if not all multiplayers. Uh, but here just feels very sudden and it's kind of annoying. At least to me, I mean, it could not bother other players, but I don't feel the enjoyment that much. And it's time consuming to, to learn and there's people that that's the only thing that they're doing the whole day and for people that actually have lives it's very hard to be you know so skilled in each and every game when you have to really really dedicate a lot of your time and it's not about enjoyment anymore that's my problem it's about learning and then using that uh, you know what you learn and you can still die in two seconds uh, and, and the end of the day uh, yeah, so guys, if you still want to play Swords and Shields with other players, those are the game for you. Uh, they're both very cheap in G2A.com, so don't buy them from any anywhere else. Don't buy them from the official sites, because you're going to give uh, three or four times the money for the same game. So just go on G2A.com, they're like about three dollars and a half, if you just know how to look uh, in the site. And that's it pretty much, guys. Um, enjoy uh, this video hopefully and uh, yeah i have to remember that i used to be good actually and <laughs> chivalry at least uh, but yeah that's what happens with multiplayer games so guys until for honor comes out those are your two best options thank you very much for watching until next time with gdg gaming
Oh! 